Safe motherhood and reproductive health is a fundamental rights of the woman. So this collaboration is a NAFIC uh, funded project uh, under the Orange Knowledge Program initiative. Together with Julikel Hospital in Nepal and the Dutch partners on Maastricht University, together with the GGD, the Municipal Public Health Service of the Netherlands, to set up a sexual and reproductive health course for school age children in Nepal. It's, it's hard in the Nepalese culture to talk about sexual health with, with young people. In Nepal, mostly in the government school, uh, the topics related to reproductive health is uh, not discussed openly in the classroom. Uh, students have to study those topics by themselves. We started the first visit with a situational analysis. And during that visit, we spoke to as many people as we could. As reproductive health and sexual health are very important issues and still it is uh, like a hidden agenda that people are not talking about this. Uh, sexual and reproductive health is, uh, I think this is the one of the priority uh, uh, program in Nepal. I want to learn uh, how can I communicate with the uh, school students easily? How can I give them education in understandable way? After the situational analysis, we um, were able to conduct two face-to-face -face trainings. The first one was really focused on uh, changing education. So we were not yet focusing on sexual health, but to see how we could give education in a different way. Because this is such a sensitive topic with sexual and reproductive health, we wanted to make this much more interactive and think of different uh, teaching forms. There was an emphasis on that learning, yeah, that learning definitely can be fun and still, especially in these difficult topics that to show that learning can happen and you can get past these sensitive topics uh, by the type of teaching you choose. There was a second training and the result of this training was that there were eight priority topics. So uh, with these eight topics that were selected, we tried to cover uh, more or less the full scope of topics relevant to sexual and reproductive health for young people in Nepal. Then COVID happened, which had, I think like many other projects, had a big impact. Um, and they, on top of that, our partners are mainly nurses, so they had a big role to play in the COVID management in their own country. We had to move online uh, in our collaboration and our efforts to design this uh, curriculum. We were able to develop a full manual uh, for sexual and reproductive health for the, for the school children that uh, was made by the team in Nepal. So they really gave it, adjusted it to their local context. I'm happy with the results. They will roll it out among all their uh, partner schools because they have more than 20 partner schools in the whole area, very rural area where they go frequently for these, these uh, type of health promotion courses. And this will become part of their regular um, activities. This project directly and indirectly would uh, enhance our knowledge and skill. It was very good. I got to learn many, many things.